We want to look today at what Paul says about God in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. Listen as I read the verse to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies. That means he's the source of it. And God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. If someone asks you to describe our God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, what comes to your mind? Anger, uh, moody, uh, the gods of the ancient Near East were usually angry, they needed to be pacified, they need a sacrifice. They were always having to be appeased. But here Paul speaks of a God that's blessed, a God that is wonderful. And two things he says about this God. He's a God of all mercies, it says, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort. Think of that. Mercy. What's mercy? Mercy is God having pity or compassion on those suffering from sin. Uh, instead of being judgmental or just sentencing us, he offers the good news of Christ, the one who has come to pay for our sins, the one who's come to rescue us, the one who helps us in this sinful state of ours. God is good in his word. He says he's good to the unrighteous, the righteous, he gives us seasons, he gives us food, he gives us breath, he gives us family, he gives us one benefit after another, whether there's ever a thanks, whether there's any acknowledgement, if there's any mercy on the planet, it comes from the God who fathered it all. God is the source of mercy. What a beautiful thought to know that we are people of mercy. Uh, not of merit. We haven't merited God's favor. We haven't merited one blessing. And he says in Romans 9 that we are literally vessels of mercy, that he shared his salvation. And you must know whatever state you're in, whether you're in depression, uh, whether you're struggling with some sin issue, some life struggle, the source of mercy for you is God. Come to God, don't run from him. The temptation of Adam and Eve was run and hide. When I've sinned, when I've blown it, run, hide, cover up. That is always the sinful response. Their hope was running to this God who was willing to kill an animal and make them a covering. This is the God of mercy. Then he says, he's not only a God of mercy, but he's a God of comfort. Uh, comfort is a word to come along, encourage, as a word, think of pouring moisture into a dried up piece of soil, putting water where there's drought. This God is the source of comfort. Think of the means God has used to comfort us. He said in John 14, I'll send you another comforter, the Holy Spirit who will come and be this divine encourager this divine helper in the journey of life. He has said in his word in Romans 15, he said that God gave us the scriptures that we might seek encouragement and find encouragement in the midst of all of our trials. So God's son, God's spirit, God's word, and God the Father, they said, if you get comfort, we're the source of it. Uh, whether you know Christ or not, every bit of strength to make it every day. Who's given you this many years of life? Who's kept you alive? Who's got you through one storm after another? One disappointment, perhaps. Don't know what life has handed you. But the true source of comfort for the heart is found in our God. He's not a depressing God. He's not demanding all the time. He pours mercy pours comfort. He is the source of it. He's the source of it. So today, don't run to this 
or run to that. Run to our God who specializes in comforting, whose specialty is mercy. Do you need mercy? Do your children need mercy? Does your marriage need mercy? God says, I'm the blessed God. I'm the unique God of all gods. I major in mercy and comfort. Come to him. Are you heavy laden? Christ has come. I'm the source of comfort. I've got a comfortable yoke. I'll do the pulling. You just travel with me and have fellowship with me. Meet the God of comfort through the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.